I think literally like the first day of hearing the beat, I'm just listening to it in my headphones, like, mm, and I'm just following the melody of the beginning, and mm -hmm. then the line just comes to me. Mm -hmm. What was the line? Yeah, I'm going to take my horse to Old Town Road. <laughs> Did you even know how to ride a horse? Uh, not, not much, not much. I do now. <laughs> a year ago, Montero Hill, now known as Lil Nas X, says he was sleeping on his sister's floor. Does this feel like Old Town Road? I mean, could you have gotten any better with chickens? Before he came to this Atlanta studio. When you first heard that beat and you thought what? I thought, I hope nobody gets this beat before me. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you hear in it? What did you hear? It sounded like an anthem to me. I don't hear those like that often, where you just know it's like, this it one is you. special. And so then you paid $30 for it? Yes, I leased it for about 30 bucks when I got that money together. And then I had to wait another month until I could go into the studio for like $20 Tuesdays. Just one hour? Yeah, that's all you need. You know, I'm thinking, Montero, it takes a lot to make dreams come true. So you're having goosebumps coming back here? Because when was the last time you were here? Last time I was here is probably, what? Very early this year, or uh -huh. around the time I made the song, maybe. For the song, okay. <laughs> Boy, this is small in here. So you did that song in here? Yeah, simplicity is key. David Morgan, who goes by Cinco, was the engineer on the original recording. I can't say I knew it was a hit, but I knew it was a good song, and I expressed that it was different, and I felt that different is good. And I remember telling him that you never know what different can do for you. Uh -huh. I didn't know it was gonna do this. <laughs> you get into the studio, and you decide to put a country twist on it? No, no, I knew from the start of hearing the beat I was gonna put like a country twist on it. Were you a country music fan? Mm, not necessarily. What was your thinking about how it had to sound? I wanted to paint a picture of like a depressed kind of cowboy going to a better life and I wanted it to be like a sad leaning song in the beginning, but then just kind of like turned into like a banger, you know? By then you sort of thought, I'm on to something here. Didn't you think that? I'm on my way? The day this song came out, I knew I was on to something. I knew if I pushed this as hard as I could uh, to keep this momentum going, I'm going to have something. And had something he did, you know, his, his, he dropped out of college because he wanted to concentrate on his music. The Senko guy, the engineer, was also very cool because he said, this is a very simple studio, as you see, yeah. so there's no distractions, no ping pong, no video games. Yep. You come in here and you just work. And that's what they did in less than, in, in about an hour. Well, if he, if he took that. the budget session, he's got to make sure he <laughs> yeah. uses it up. I, I love what Senko says when he says, you never know what different can do for you. Yeah, $20 <laughs> Tuesday. So you go in the studio and you get an hour for $20. Yep. So 30 bucks for the beat and yes. 20 bucks for the studio. It's a $50, $50 hit. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah that's right. And it's already had over a billion streams, audio and video of people yeah. who have, who who have seen or listened to that song and bought that song. Yeah.